Hello and welcome to another edition of PCAM Lab Screencast. I'm Professor Jeff Yarger and I'd like to show you today uh, a simple setup we use with simple spectrometers that are typically meant for one centimeter cuvette UV vis stuff that we can use to look at the gas emission uh, spectra of um, uh, in this case hydrogen, uh, but you can do it for uh, any typical gas emission. And so what we have here is a high voltage supply with gas emission tubes in it. This is a whole carousel of different tubes with hydrogen being right here. Uh, the tubes generally look like this. You can buy single uh, tube sources as well, but it's just passing a high voltage through uh, a glass filled um, tube that, uh, that contains the gas of interest. This one is nitrogen and you can plop it you know, into this uh, uh, carousel like that, uh, etc. So we have uh, hydrogen right here. Then we have a little ocean optics, USB 4000, USB ISS UV Viz from ocean optics that would be commonly used for UV Viz and a Vernier uh, Spectra Viz Plus um, here as well. So two different spectrometers and we can use those to quickly look at the gas emissions. So if we turn on the high voltage supply, we'll see uh, purple light coming through the hydrogen emission uh, spectra. And what we want to do is get that light you know, into the spectrometer. Uh, Vernier sells a handy little one centimeter cuvette that's really just a fiber optics cable. So when you uh, hold the fiber optics up to here, you'll see um, that you can get the purple light coming through the center of that fiber optics where that uh, center of that cuvette looking fake cuvette that we have here. So we can put that into our spectrometer um, and then uh, you know uh, put it hold it up here and you'll see that we can easily start to get you know the emission lines um, from hydrogen. In fact we can go down we're integrating for a hundred milliseconds here we can integrate lower and lower. So you can see we can get each of the characteristic bomber series hydrogen emission lines. We can uh, stop that, pause that, we can save that spectrum and we can save it uh, as either a binary file or a tab delimited text file with or without headers, etc. And so I've already done that and posted uh, some of these to uh, yargersci.com and downloads some of the uh, different emission spectra. And so Again, this is using a USB 4000. We can change the integration time, collect longer, get more of the um, higher energy um, emission line peaks, etc. You can also do this in a different spectrometer like the um, Vernier. So Ocean Optics uses Spectra Suite as their software to collect. Uh, Vernier uses uh, Logger Pro, and that's this software right here. And so again, I can start it. Um, and now put this spec into this spectrometer here, hold it up to the emission line. So it's a long direction. It would help if I have the fiber pointing into the spectrometer. And again, yeah, you can start to see. In this case, you'll see that you only see two of the lines because this spectrometer, I'm going to stop it here only uh, goes, it goes from 900 only down to 380 nanometers and you can tell it's not nearly as high of resolution uh, as the other one which has a CCD with uh, a larger array CCD camera with better resolution. So, but you can collect it on either of these. In this case you can get two of the Bomber series lines. Uh, the nice thing about the Ocean Optics is that you can get at least four, probably five uh, of the um, uh, hydrogen emission lines in this spectrum. Uh, and then here's, I've written down some of the details of the two spectrometers, the ocean optics here and the vernier here. Uh, and as you can uh, easily see the emission here, we can easily turn this off, move it over to a different gas, like helium, for example, turn it back on, and we could now hold this up and measure uh, the spectrum of helium emission, etc. So I hope this helps you uh, get started on a simple setup to uh, collect gas uh, spectra or gas emissions. Spectra.